I'm Lindsay Valla. I am a member of the Board of Governors of the DC Bar, and I'm a senior associate at Vincent and Elkins. I'm here today to um, talk with Jay Newton Small, the author of Broad Influence How Women Are Changing the Way America Works. A third, three of the Supreme Court justices now are women, 35% of the federal bench, a third of, or nearly a third of the district court judges, and I think state courts was 40%, 40% yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. And you talked about in the book about how sort of the increase of the number of women judges at all levels has really coincided with the rise of problem solving courts, mm -hmm. which I thought was fascinating. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so this was interesting, and I, when I first began looking into this chapter, I wasn't quite sure of how to approach it because there's, you know, as you know, in the law, the law is supposed to be blind, right? And so there's this real sensitivity when you talk to female judges of, well, do you judge any differently um, than the male judges? And a lot of female judges are like, no, 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 we don't judge any differently because they, you know, they don't want to be perceived as being biased on the bench. And certainly Sandra Day O'Connor, who was the first female Supreme Court justice um, appointed by Ronald Reagan in 1984, was very much along those lines. She didn't feel that there was any, you know, difference in the way that she judged versus a male judge. And yet, um, even by the end of her career, she did say, you know what, we do bring a different set of, 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 of uh, perspectives to the bench, um, and, and I think it's very hard to deny that, even though she wasn't sort of an activist like judge in terms of trying to change a lot of the policy um, the way, say, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has been doing her entire career, um, who is a very feminist activist judge. Um, but the interesting thing is, e even though almost every female judge, and I found it really hard to kind of begin to pry out of them how women do judge differently, even though they say that up front, that they, they, they would immediately be like, yeah, but then there's this, and then there's that, and then we've done this, and we've done, done that. So it was kind of like this like automatic disclosure. No, it's no different. And yet here's all the ways in which it's different, kind of. Um, and so it was, it was really fascinating. And, and, and a lot of this is anecdotal. You know, there wasn't like any kind of main study or any kind of, um, like evidence that just, except for the fact that every female judge that I spoke to said, here's what it was like for me. And, and, um, and, and, and so women have really began to come into um, the sort of judiciary or come into judging in force um, in the last 30 years. And I think it is no coincidence that you see um, that uh, divorce court has completely changed in that time, right? So it used to be the most acrimonious, horrific. Very adversarial. Very yeah. adversarial thing that was just like, warfare um, and now it's much more family friendly you know they have like play areas for children they call it family court um, they try to find solutions that are what's the best for the kids you know whether it's home sharing or conscious uncoupling or all the, all the different ways in which we think of these things these days. I think it's also no coincidence that um, the, uh, the, the, the growth of external counseling in terms of you know, whether it's drug rehab or marriage counseling or child counseling or um, you know, external solutions has also grown as, as more women have come into these courts because more women tend to not look for the adversarial solution. They tend to look for the solution that um, is you know, potentially less in the court, you know, but one that's uh, one that's more of a compromise and better for everybody involved. And so, you can't say that every woman is the same, um, and obviously not. But studies so studies studies show, generally speaking, that women tend to be more collaborative. They tend to look for win-win um, win-win situations, and they tend to build consensus. And I think that's very clear um, that all of those things have changed the courts over the years. And obviously, there have been men who've played huge roles in drug courts and huge roles in, in family courts. Um, but by and large, the, the growth of family court has been on the shoulders of female, female lawyers and female justices.